The paparazzi have a really hard job getting just the right image. And a day in the life of this photographer can be just as challenging. Now, most of his subjects are usually dead, but that doesn't make them any more cooperative. Uh, our job is to, to document all the natural history collections and to convey the sheer diversity of, of New Zealand uh, animals and plants to, to as many people as we can. With the digital age, we have made big progress because now we can, we can take uh, very small specimens entirely in focus, which wasn't the case before. Small spiders are some of the trickiest creatures to photograph, partly because of their size and partly because they are stored in alcohol. Without the liquid, they would dry out. So Jean-Claude builds tiny aquariums for the spiders to float in. If you put alcohol and you put the spider, it will float on the top. To remedy this, we use uh, KY jelly uh, and put a little blob of KY jelly at, to the bottom of the tank and, and glue the spider on top. So sometimes there are some eyebrows raised when we order 10 tubes of KY jelly. The spiders are so small that a regular photo would be out of focus. So instead they use a technique called extended depth of field photography. This means it can take more than 50 images just to get one spider's leg in focus. Uh, what we do now uh, in the digital age is we slice the spiders with pictures, starting from the top, make one shot and go down until we reach the bottom of the bottom leg. It can take up to 250 images to take one, one spider from, from the top of the top leg to the bottom of the bottom leg. We feed all these image stack into a, a software which looks through all the layers, all the images, pixel by pixel, and decides on which layer the sharpest pixel is. And it, it copies it to a composite and it slowly assembles the picture like this. And, and with the final result, the spiders will be sharp from the top of the first knee to the bottom of the last uh, leg. Uh, some people here call it the best job in the world. Uh, there are quite a few in the institution, so yeah, no, it couldn't be greater. There's a saying that a picture paints a thousand words. But for spider researchers, this paints so much more. Seeing spiders at this level of detail allows us to identify new species and it puts some of the world's smallest creatures into the limelight.